The president says he is confident he would have won if he could have run again. Speaking with his longtime advisor, David Axelrod, Obama said congressional Republicans set out to make his vision for America seem like a fantasy, but that their political success was not a rejection of his vision for the country. Mitch McConnell's insight, uh, which I've, I've said just from a pure tactical yeah, right. perspective, was pretty smart and well executed, that if we just say no, then that will puncture the balloon. That all this talk about hope and change and no red state and uh, blue state uh, is, is proven to be a mirage, a fantasy. Obviously, uh, in the wake of uh, the, the election and Trump winning, uh, uh, a lot of people have, have um, suggested that somehow it really was a fantasy. What I would argue is, is that the culture actually did shift, that the majority does buy into uh, the notion of uh, a, a, a one America that is tolerant and diverse and uh, open and, um, and, and, and full of energy and dynamism. And, uh, and the problem is it doesn't always itself in politics, right? Uh, you know, uh, I, I am confident in this vision because I'm confident that if I uh, if I had run again and articulated it, I think I could have mobilized a majority of the American people to rally behind it. In conversations that I've had with um, people around the country, even some people who disagreed with me. Uh, they would say the vision, the direction that you point towards is the right one. So, Gene Robinson, let's start with you. It's a fun parlor game. It's uh, yeah. the 22nd Amendment prevents it from happening, obviously. Mm -hmm. But President Obama basically saying that if it, mm -hmm. it were he and not Hillary Clinton running against Donald Trump, that yeah. he would have won a third term. Is he right? Well, okay, so 22nd Amendment aside, I think probably, yeah. I mean, you know, he would have gotten enough, um, um, marginally enough extra votes out of Philadelphia, Milwaukee, and Detroit uh, to win. I mean, you know, it, it, it's easy. You did just, a, you know, a, a relatively modest increase in the turnout in those three cities. Uh, and the Democrat would have beaten Donald Trump. Now, that's a simplistic answer, but I think it's probably the right one. It's a difficult set of comments for Hillary Clinton. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Essentially mm -hmm. saying, hey, you know, if I had been in her shoes, I mean, you know, the message she ran on was essentially modified Obama. It's stronger together. Yeah. You know, they did a lot of poll testing to figure out that that's what they were going to run on. And, you know, there was a lot of conversation throughout the campaign about her struggles to be authentic. And to a certain extent, she couldn't take what Obama had and then went win with it, he seems to be saying, hey, actually, I've done it again. Well, she well, also well, never okay. had the approval rating that President right. Obama does, well, which is now 56 percent. Neither did That's Donald true. Trump. And even though I agree with you, Gene, I do. There's a little nagging thing in, in the back of my head that says this was a change election. Right. Uh, yeah, it was a you change election. Yeah, it was absolutely was a change election, but I think Casey's right. If uh, if Clinton runs as Obama, she loses. But if Obama runs as Obama, he could have won if he picked those three states. But it was a it was one heck of an indictment on Clinton. Well, yeah. Donald Trump.